Okay, donc on va commencer avec... Uh, right, let's start our midday briefing. Welcome to everyone to the midday briefing of today, Thursday, 13th of June. Some of you might have uh, attended the previous press conference of Commissioner Ertinger on the roadmap in the view of an upcoming adoption of the MFF. I would like to share some information with you at this point. This afternoon at 1 p.m. the Europe group meeting will begin, so if you have any economic questions, do keep those for the press conference that will take place after the Eurogroup meeting. I inform you about the results of a special Eurobarometer on data protection that we published today, which shows that Europeans are relatively well aware of the new data protection rules, their rights, and the existence of national data protection authorities to whom they can turn for help, for help uh, if their rights are violated. Based on the views of 27,000 Europeans, the Eurobarometer results uh, show that 73% of the respondents know at least one of their rights um, or have heard the rights guaranteed by the general data protection uh, regulation and the results also show that data protection is a concern um, as 62% of the respondents uh, that have provided, provided online personal data are worried that they do not, do not have complete control over it. You'll find more information in um, our daily news and you have also country-specific fact sheets for all the EU countries. Puis l'épidémie d'Ebola continue en République. And then the ep Ebola epidemi epidemic is continuing in the uh, Republic of Congo and we've seen a number of outbreaks in Uganda as well. 3.5 million euros of which 2.5 million euros will be sent by the Commission uh, to Africa, of which the second amount goes to Uganda. This is in addition to the 17 million euros of European financing that has been sent to fight against the Ebola virus since 2018. Again, more information is available in the Daily News. I have the latest news from the Juncker Plan agreement to share. Uh, the European Investment Fund and the Bank Nordic have signed a deal which will provide 300 million Danish kroner, so around 40 million euro, to SMEs in the Faroe Islands and Greenland. And the guarantee agreement also translates into better financing rates uh, for borrowers. As you are aware, the Juncker plan has already mobilized nearly 400 billion in additional investment across the EU, uh, of which 4.8 billion is in Denmark. And the plan is currently supporting 949,000 small and medium-sized businesses across Europe um, and more information in our daily news and with the team. Then uh, a congratulations note from the European Commission to Slovakia because this morning EU member states decided that Bratislava will host the seat of the European Labour Authority and this new authority will ensure that union rules on labour mobility are enforced in a fair, simple and effective way you will probably recall that the idea of a European Labour Authority was first launched by President Juncker in September 2017 in his State of the Union speech, and then the Commission made the proposal uh, in March 2018. And now, today, with the choice of the seat, this new EU agency will be able to start working as of October this year. Finalement, nous avons aujourd'hui... And then lastly, we have two groups of visitors with us today, a group of uh, journalists from Berlin and a group of journalists from uh, Brazil and the Dominican Republic. Welcome very much to our press room today. Questions that you have for us today, Stefan. Oui, j'ai une question 